So I'm back here again at the Clarion Tunnel. This is the second day. Uh, I had to come back here because Zach and I are working on a project that he wants to do. And we weren't able to finish filming yesterday due to numerous uh, issues. So we're back here, gonna try to wrap things up this time and hopefully not have to come back here again anytime soon. Rolling. Okay, that's good. Rolling. <laughs> Looks like he's finally here. You recording? Yep. So we made it up to the tunnel here. Uh, we've already filmed a couple shots. You can just see the tunnel in the background there. Uh, it's somewhat raining at the moment. So we have to hurry. Hopefully it... Uh, I mainly just worry about the cards and the script. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it just continues to be just spitting rain at the moment. Rolling. Now I summon Scrap Recycle. Am I doing that right? Yeah. Now, my portrait. God Rolling. This triggers my citadel in the graveyard. And because a machine monster was destroyed, it summons itself. And don't you forget, because I summoned three machine monsters, you take 900 points of damage. Rolling. Whoa, he just destroyed all my monsters. You'll pay for that, you mother over the shot of a child. Rolling. You'll pay for that. <laughs> Try that again. Go. You'll pay for that because Fortress was just. Okay, go. You'll pay for that because Fortress was. Rolling. You'll pay for that, you mother. I had a feeling he was going to do that. <laughs> All right, anyways. Rolling. My turn. I... Mother... Go. I activate my trap. Machina Overdrive. By destroying... My voice just cracked there. Even so, Megaform summons itself from the graveyard. And because I summon two machines, you'll take 600 points of damage. Go. Even so, Megaform summons itself. And because I summon two monsters, you'll take 600 points of damage. Go. This is insane! You brought yourself down to 300 points just to summon that monster? You know what? F this. Ah! So we're still out here. Just finished up recording my scenes. Uh... Zach's currently getting set up to we do figured, his now. Um, we only have one prop, you know, so we figured it'd be easier to do all of Corey's scenes first. Because we have a script, you know, which helps a lot. Which, always. there's a funny story for you. We actually had to run clear back to my place to get the script It's like morning. a 20, 25 minute drive. We drove all the way here and we forgot the script. The oh most my God. important thing of the production. Oh my God! I was so mad. I wanted to just... <laughs> Jump off a bridge. <laughs> oh man. But now we're gonna do all of my scenes and then hopefully we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> and not a moment too soon. Rolling. There is no escape for you. Only defeat. Draw. First, I discard my cyber dark. I'll do it again. Good. I was about cyber dark cannon. Rolling. There is no escape for you. Only defeat. First, I discard my Hold cyber on a dark. When you want to be looking towards the tunnel. God, you're right. Well. Ah! Ah, it's a monster from the cave. Oh my god. Oh. It's the ghost of Wooly Mammoth. So that's where he's been. <laughs> I 
don't know what the f we just recorded. I'm gonna step back and be like, lucky shot, punk. It'll take more than that to beat me. We're gonna take a couple of those. Here we go. Put on the angle again. Ha. Lucky shot, punk. But it'll take more than that to beat me. So yeah. Ready? Yeah. Rolling. Ha. Lucky shot, punk. But it'll take more than that to beat me. Lucky shot, punk. But it'll take more than that to beat me. Rolling. I don't even care anymore. My turn again. Because you have a monster and I don't, I use Cyber Dragon Core's effect in the graveyard, banishing itself to summon Cyber Dragon Hurts from the deck. So you've probably seen a couple clips uh, that we've taken, maybe even some bloopers. Uh, we're trying to wrap things up here before too much longer. Cyber Dark Inferno! I'll reveal what that does later. But for now, I use the effect of another Cyber Dark Cannon in my hand. By sending it to the graveyard, I get to add a Cyber Dark Keel. Then I get to normal summon Cyber Dark Keel. Cyber Dark Keel's effect activates. It lets me resurrect a Cyber Dark Cannon from the graveyard and equip it to itself. Also, it gains its attack points, putting it at 2400. Getting his cards ready. Uh, summon all those monsters, eh? I hate to do this. This destroys every monster on the field. And unfortunately, because it's my card, this does include my own Cyber Dark Dragons. He summoned all those monsters, eh? I hate to do this, but I activate my trap! Torrential Tribute! This destroys every monster on the field. My monsters too, unfortunately, because my field spell only protects my cards from your effects, not mine. You're, let me know when you're recording. Rolling. Ah, all those machines. Those rust buckets, all of those stupid machines! I've had enough of them! My resolve is always to win. I don't care about respecting my opponents. I don't need respect. All I need is victory. And I'm gonna show you that right now! Ah, all those machines, those rust buckets, all of those stupid machines! I've had enough of them! My resolve is always to win. I don't care about respecting my opponents. I don't need respect. All I need is victory. And I'm gonna show you that right now! Ruthless and serious the Phantoms really are. Draw! <laughs> Excellent. I activate Pot of Desires! by the top 10 cards of my deck. I get to draw two more cards. Rolling. And now I'll show you the original Cyber Dragon. Because, wait, no, sorry. Getting close to the end of production here. Uh, it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon. Starting to get hungry. Late lunch. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, we're about ready to wrap things up here. Just getting the last few shots. Rolling. You know, it's a funny thing. I don't need those life points anyway. All I need is one card to secure my victory. And I'll show you right now. I activate... Overload Fusion! Overload Fusion lets me summon a dark machine monster by banishing the materials from my field or graveyard, and I have just the ones, I banish two Cyber Dark Cannons, one Cyber Dark Horn, one Cyber Dark Keel, and one Cyber Dark Claw in order to summon out 
Cyber Darkness Dragon! Rolling. Now, come out, Cyber Darkness Dragon! Oh, you didn't say summon. I thought that's what you said, summon Super Darkness. Well, I was saying I was... You want me to sum, say... Yes. Okay. Now come out! I summon Super Cyber Darkness Dragon! And I summon your mama. <laughs> matter much anyway but it's got 5,000 attack points it's completely unaffected by any of your activated card effects and it gains additional protection from my field spell my cyber dark inferno field spell means that while it's a <laughs> I told you your journey ends here chimera tech fortress dragon attack cyber laser beam and now, Cyber Dark and Dragon, finish him off! I'm gonna finish you off, get your ass over here! Rolling. Ah, you're making my blood boil! So we just finished up the last bit of filming. I'm just standing here on top of the rock face over top of where we were before. Uh, if you look over that way, you can see the tunnels back there. And then Zach and is... down here with all the stuff. Yep. I'm going to the car. Alright, so I gotta get down off of here. Then Zach and I are gonna head for lunch. Uh, sure been quite a morning trying to get out here and get everything filmed. There's a look at the tunnel over there from this viewpoint. If anyone wanted it, there it is. Just walking down the trail now, back to the car, out here on the road next to the tunnel, and basically just parked right down here. And then there's where the bridge would have spanned over the river. You probably saw that in the other video I did. So we're back in the car now, and I think that's gonna conclude this video and probably the last thing we'll be able to really film while we're here because this is oops i'm in neutral ah! this is probably gonna be like the last thing we're really gonna be able to film because it's this is a very complex very involved video there's lots of dynamic camera angles i mean it took forever yesterday we were trying to finish this yesterday but when we were at the tunnel uh it was a sunday and it was afternoon, so there were a lot of visitors. There was probably, I don't know, something like two dozen people that came. And we're trying to film this directly in front of the tunnel. So people keep coming by, interrupting the shot. And, you know, also it's a, I'm a little embarrassed, I guess, to have the dual disc and be dressed up like a well, lot of, i uh, wasn't wild about it myself either a in lot some of people, instances right a lot of people was like hey man what y'all do i, I just tick tock tick tock <laughs> oh yeah because these days if you're doing anything in public that looks a little silly and you just tell people that you're doing it for tick tock everybody's like oh well why didn't you say so okay yeah so that was kind of the excuse that i ran off to a lot of people but thankfully today it was cold, it was wet, it was raining, which is sucky weather, but it actually created a very good atmosphere for our Yu-Gi-Oh duel. Um, and it meant that nobody was here to bother us. So that's, it took about an hour to do Corey's stuff, and then about one hour to do my stuff. And we would have finished an hour sooner had I not forgotten everything at home. So yep. less, lessons learned. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Correct. And that being said, I think we'll end on that note. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye. See you next time.